Welcome back to the channel everybody and another episode of Backyard Bandits. So we have jumped systems. We are now at Spencer. It is a one and a half skull planet. Let's have a look at the navigation real quick here. So we were right here. Uh, we actually with that last mission that we did we've uh, kind of um, shifted this to the uh, Oregon Co Coalition. Um, but we've jumped over here. Um, looks like the locals are having problems with uh, the Canopians, so we're going to attack here. But my reason for jumping here was the best planet with the most pirate activity, 34%. This one had like 89%, uh, but we weren't getting any missions there. We might jump back to Detroit um, after we, we do uh, some missions here on Spencer, which there's a, quite a few that we can do, um, and see how this place is going. But for now, we're going to stay here on Spencer. Now... Um, in the mech bay, we've done a couple of minor modifications to everything here. So I'm going to just kind of go over everything real quick. So the archer, um, we dropped in the endosteel here. And I was able to, uh, what did I, what else did I do? I think that was it. The endosteel went in, we dropped in some case, uh, LRM incendiary, another ton of LRM incendiary ammo, an additional heat sink. We dropped in the exchanger that, that came out of the urban mech and the advanced zoom that came out of, uh, what did that come out of? came out of something. I don't know. We took it out of something, but it ended up in here for range accuracy bonus. We had uh, missile sensors that we picked up, so I dropped it in here. This will help out with uh, close range firepower with the minus 50% minus uh, minimum missile range and 20% increased missile range. Uh, that'll help out with the LRMs for sure with this guy. So that was the changes here. I think it's pretty good overall. The heat deficiency is actually pretty good now. 48, 42, um, minus the 5%. So I think we'll be much better off and moving relatively fast with this guy. Well, as fast as we really can without getting overheated. Um, and then the Dervish was went into a major refit here. So we had that light eb uh, engine on the Urban Mech originally which I threw on this guy, uh, it gave us a bunch more weight. So I was able to upgrade the LRM-10 to an LRM-15, um, which I think is going to help out a little bit. And I was able to up the armor too. So we, we got more armor on the torsos, a little bit more back center torso and center torso, uh, just marginal. But um, yeah, so a minor upgrade on this guy. An extra five uh, missile racks never hurt anybody. Uh, and then we added thermal vision to this guy, so anybody that's overheating, it'll get a accuracy bonus against them. Uh, I don't expect this will do a lot. It's every 70 target heat, which is a fair bit, so um, we'll have to overheat enemies for this guy to get a better chance to hit them. But still, uh, overall, it's it's still a pretty good mech. Uh, and then let's have a look at... We'll save this guy to last. The gladiator stayed the same. I didn't do anything different on this guy. Uh, what did I do here? Did I do anything to this guy? I don't think I did. I think I left him the same. Uh, yes, everything stayed the same on this guy. And then what I did was on the gladiator. Did I add anything to the gladiator? I can't remember. I don't think I did. I think it stayed the same. Yeah, we added something that stayed the same thought I had an improved sensors here somewhere let's have a look at this guy so um, I went again with a missile build to this, to this guy because currently really weight per damage ratio and better hit chance ratio um, as you can see how the gladiator is working out it's firing and missing a whole lot not really doing anything so my thought was if I go with you know like lasers or auto cannons um, we're not going to get any kind of damage potential out of them so this guy is basically an SRM 6 boat with four SRM 6s we've got the fire control system recoil to um, offset these guys here which have two recoil but they're less less chance to hit uh, AMS to, sorry less of a chance for AMS to hit these guys um, so we put a recoil um, fire control system in here just to mitigate that. pair of uh, medium pulse lasers. We've got Inferno ammo, LK ammo, 
and a double load of ammo. So we got tons of ammo for the SRM6s. We've got about, I think it's like a little over 18 turns of firing, which is plenty. Um, plenty enough for this guy anyway. And the heat sinking is good because it's got a double heat sink kit in it, right? So we're heat flush right now. So this guy should be able to put out a fair bit of damage at close range. We do have a couple of bolt-on rockets, which came off of uh, the Fire Bee when we got rid of it. Not, we didn't get rid of it, but we put it in storage. Um, so we've got those there, and then we've got the Beagle Probe in, on this guy here too. So that's going to help out. And that's pretty much it. So the pilots uh, changed, not really changed all that much since between the, between episodes. Um, Hopper's got his gunnery to six now. We've got three three extra pilots here with um, with Bandit. Uh, Queen B, once she gets enough points, uh, I'm probably going to go with the extra piloting here because if she's going to be moving in and out of combat, having the uh, her evasion pips immune to sensor lock and melee defense and uh, minus 5% melee damage taken, I think it's going to really help out as opposed to the crit hits taken because she's got a ton of uh, evasion already, so the chance of hitting her is already pretty low, but enemy mechs might decide to melee, in which case um, this will really help out. So that's my thought anyway. That's what I'm going to go with her. Everybody else is going to continue gunnery, probably tactics. Um, earthquake as well. Although Scramble is going to be going piloting in guts once she gets enough points. So that's those. Now let's have a look at the missions. So uh, we're going to do this one today, Hide the Evidence. It's a mission for the pirates, which is good because it'll give us uh, some more likability. Uh, 21.8 to be precise, which is good. Two skulls. It's a destroy base. I think we should be okay with this. We're going to go ahead and negotiate. I'm going to go full salvage. Um, it's against the planetary government, but we're okay. We're going to be doing missions for the planetary government after this, so that'll help out against uh, the Canopians, which is what I'm planning on doing next. So we're going to accept this. And we're going to remove the Gladiator, and we're going to bring in the Menchen. going to let Hotshot run it, see how it works out. Uh, if it's not working out very well, then I might swap the, the two mechs, the Archer and the uh, Menchen around. But the Gladiator, I think, is the next mech that I'm going to remove. Unless we can find some um, uh, melee items that we can add to this guy, it's he's not really going to work out. We have the mask off the Menchen. I took it off of here. We don't really need it. Um, but if we can add it to the Gladiator, if we can find some melee items, if we can't find any melee items, it, this mech really isn't doing all that well. So let's deploy this sucker and get it done. Okay, here we go. Not landing on the base. Restricted area, eh? Well, looks like we got a land with us too. What's this guy? Wasp lamb. What else do we have with us? A beekeeper? Okay. And looks like a chopper. Ferret scout VTOL. Okay. Well, not bad. How far away are these guys? Ah, oh, not a... It's not a... Eh, not that bad. Let's start moving. Uh, let's go... Where's the height? That way. So let's go along here. And then we'll make our way up the hill. Moving to position. So that this guy's got pretty good speed. Scout lamb. We'll go. Scout lamb. Yeah, you guys stay back there. Typical pirates not wanting to risk their own gack, but that's fine. Affirmative. Wouldn't want to risk my stuff if unless I absolutely had to. Oh, we got target sensors locked, or enemy targets in sensor range. That is. Um. Well, let's scout it out. Stay behind the hill. Yeah, we can get some missiles on now. Maybe our allies will get some missiles on. What do we got here? Centurion. Okay. I don't know. I don't remember if we got any Centurion parts off that one mission.
Got another guy over here. There's a turret. Standard shredder turret. How can I help? Get your asteroid up here. I'm really hoping that the overheating problem on this guy is going to be mitigated now. That's really good chances to hit. What happened between... Uh... Sure. I, I don't know what happened between uh, episodes, but that's... Yeah, I got lots of what I want done, but can't do it right now. Um, that's a l huge difference. I guess it must be that... Uh, I guess it's got to be that... Um, what's it called? The little targeting thing that we put on it. I can't think of what else it would be. Maybe the sensors? I don't, I don't know. Let's get into here. Let's see what your chance to hit is. Not anywhere near as good. Don't know why that is. I'm not going to complain. Let's get that shredder done. We don't want them shooting at us when we get up there. Yes, Commander. All right, B. Um, Copy that. Ooh, okay. Infantry suppression turret. Another Centurion A. Rockets, heavy rifle. Rockets, heavy rifle. Okay. AC-20, that's not good. A little better on this guy. I was hoping to get the tag barrage on him and then jump out, but... Looks like we got it on him. Beautiful. Good luck. Good luck. Crap, we're going on 11, man. What is it with the initiative and the jumping? Maybe it's got something to do with instability. That would make sense. If you're more unstable, the more unstable you are, the lower your initiative. That would kind of make sense. Yes, Commander. Okay, let's get up here. Hightailing it. It's nice actually now having that extra map size, the the thirty percent bigger map size, because with the VTOL or the uh, the uh, Lamb Mech. Another Centurion. It gives us the ability to uh, utilize the battlefield a little better. I mean, it really is in our favor, but still, though, it's it's makes it a little bit more realistic. We got a bit better better ability to maneuver here. What do we got in this turret? Still the same, huh? Well, let's see if we can get rid of this AC-20 turret before we get in there. Hopefully Hopper can finish it off, then we don't have to worry about it in here. <laughs> Running away is not going to help you. I've got your back. Do you? Aye, aye. Okay, let's use you. I don't know if this barrage comes in at the end of this turn, in which case this turret's going to get hit. So I'm wondering if I should fire on... Why does that put the chances to hit all of a sudden? Look at this. The archer is now a completely viable build. 
What is it? I don't understand. Why is it so much on that one, not on the rest? On Let's see if we can just shred it anyway. We had a good chance to hit. We had to take it. Target destroyed. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, this guy's tagged for the barrage. Wonder if I should use the uh, incendiary on him again. It's a possibility. Three centurions though. That means we can get a centurion out of this, in theory. It's all the same build, like all the same model. So as long as we don't completely obliterate all three of them, we should get enough pieces for a centurion. Because then we can pull, if we get the Centurion, we can pull the uh, Gladiator out. We could, we could build an AC-20 Centurion too. Huh. Commander. I say you are acting irrationally. Wow. Can't actually shoot anybody. That's all right. We got to get stable anyway. Let's move back here. Let's get our stability back. Oh. All right, a little bit of damage. Those barrages aren't as devastating as I thought they were going to be. That's all right. It's just nice to have that area of effect. He's hot though. Looks like he's warmed up a little bit. Yeah, a little bit of damage. Not much, but a little bit. The three A's got plenty of hard points. I mean, he's got at least five, right? Three ballistic and two missile at least. Oh, it looks like four ballistic. Another one down here. Commander. Okay, we're in striking range now. Firm. That's the turret. Okay. Okay, okay. Look at that thing. Where's the beekeeper? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pirate LRMs with Hydra ammo. How can I help? Dude's nuts. Stay in the open. Let's move over here. As long as we're in the open, we have a better chance to hit. All right, who are we going to shoot out here? Who are we going to focus on? 44 on this guy. I think we should shoot on this guy. Let's see what else we've got. Bradford. IST. Nope. Let's take this Centurion. I'm going to go regular Dan. Well, should we go Inferno on this guy? He's really heat neutral build though. Let's just go damage. Okay, nicely done. Looks like we got some penetration there. Just a tad bit. Yeah, just a tad bit. Probably a CT hit, most likely. Shut down, though. Battle mech power up detected. Shut down and powered up. On the move. Full speed. Okay, let's keep on this guy. Um, I should have put some incendiary ammo in this guy. Oh, it was, uh, it was his arm we punched through. Well, that's fine. Come on. I have no idea where we hit him, but he may have had his ammo in the arm. By. That's a possibility. Gonna jump. Uh, can we get behind this guy? Not, well, we can, but I'm gonna jump here to put this guy between me and their turrets, like Copy that. that.
Gonna go Inferno on him. Seems to be working against the other guy, so we'll use it on this guy. Alright. Not bad. Tags tags on him. What are you up to? Nothing. Up to a whole lot of nothing. Yep. Ooh, chaff. Okay. That's all right. Okay, he's got a thunderbolt. I wonder if I should rush that guy. See if we can kill him. Hmm. Twenty-three. What's going on 23? The beetle? Or the lamb? Yeah. Dude, if you keep jumping like that, you're just going to fall over. He should be bracing. I'm not exactly sure why he's not bracing when he jumps. Oh, he's firing. That's why. Alright. That's alright. We take the few hits. Okay, rockets. Rockets are expended. Yes, Commander. Those are always the scary things. Someone's got a massive set of rockets. Alright, let's just shoot uh, the Centuri on. Uh, yep. A little bit of building damage too. Can't complain about that. Oh, that's why these guys were so hot. I, I never, never put two and two together. It's because of that guy. He's, He's burning them to a crisp. Alright, well, let's get into here. Let's get on this guy. Alright, not bad chances to hit. Two heavy machine guns and a TM-10. Or TB-10. Let's fire everything. Alright, not bad. Yeah, next turn we should be able to take it down. Next turn, he should go away. I've got your back. Okay, just walk it up. Now's the time to use the incendiaries on this guy. See if we can shut his ass down. Here we go. He's taking a bunch of hydras, so. Now nah, we just put him over the line. Yeah, thanks for showing up, buddy. Aye, aye. All right, let's heat him up. Okay, not bad. Ooh, you can still see me there, eh? Not over here, though. So we've got an AMS now, too, on the, uh, I think it, did I put it on the Dervish? I think it was the Dervish it went on to. No? Yeah, I did. The AMS flare, where did I put the AMS then? Was it the Archer? I'm sure I put an AMS on something. Yeah, AMS on. Yeah. It's on the Archer now. We need to get a Mark II is what we really need. The chopper's probably trying to figure out what it's trying to do here. So that uh, 
two episodes ago, before, well, just between two episodes and three episodes ago, when I did that half skull mission, there was a, that uh, defend base, there was a attack group of four, uh, four VTOLs, and they started taking a little bit of extra time to figure out what their moves were going to be. Um, I find, I guess, when they're, when they finally get into combat and they've got a lot of targets, they take a little bit more time. But the initial movements and stuff are actually really quick now, whereas before they were always thinking about where they were going to be going. Now they just go, and then they think about who they're going to shoot at, so they're definitely much better than they were, that's for sure. Okay. Well, Queen Bee's still doing good, initiative-wise. Come on, Chapa. What's oh, the lamb? He's gonna fall over. He's gonna jump, he's gonna shoot, he's gonna fall over. Pirates, man, they just don't care. Like, yeah, man, whatever. I'll fall over, then I'll get back up and I'll be fully stable again. I don't know, know what your problem is. Come on, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Good damage, though. Commander. Let's not jump in the minefield. Let's not jump in the mines. Alright. Let's serve this guy. Heat him up. Oh yeah. He's toasty. He's not moving anywhere anytime soon either. The problem with your movement rate mate blah, your movement rate being really low, the more heated up you get, is if you're standing in fire and you're super hot, you can't get out. You're stuck in the fire. Your mech just shuts down and you stay there and take heat every turn. So it's one thing that we're going to have to keep in mind when we see large large bits of fire, you can't you can't go anywhere near it. Especially if it's chemical fire. Got to stay the hell away from it. I mean, you kind of did before, but you would run through it and you could still go full speed and all that, but now it's like if you slow down and then get caught in the fire, you could be in trouble, like a lot of trouble. Like the Centurion is. He can't go anywhere now and he's going to be taking heat every turn. Then he won't be able to fire. Chopper's flying backwards. All right, Arachne. Commander. Let's get on the Centurion. Good to go. Yeah, that's okay. We're running out of ammo, but we still got tons of rounds. I mean, it's only round seven. We haven't switched away from LRMs yet either. Standard LRM. We got lots of ammo. Oh, yeah. See ya. Ammo explosion. Waiting for orders. Okay, let's get down over here. I know we're in the uh, the rough area, but that's okay. I'm gonna shoot this guy. We should be out of sight of everybody. Firing everything. Beautiful. Reporting one left vehicle. You got that right. Talk to me. Okay, keep moving forward. It's time to target that other uh, centurion now. Let's warm him up too. Firing. Firing on the enemy. Now there's some missions here on this planet too against the pirates. If they're going to be running with Hydra ammo, I'll, I might go against them to see if we can pick up some Hydra. Just to, and we'll just drop our uh, we'll drop our rep with them slightly, just to see if we can get some Hydra ammo off them. Now I know I said I was going to try and stay away from it, but it doesn't appear 
like it's being OP right now. That guy's got basically 30 LRMs and he's firing Hydra and he's he's not like shredding anything. So might be a little different now. Got a bit of a minefield in the way, but we're okay. How much do we take? Four. Detected times four. I guess it's this thing detecting me. Uh, that's eight damage. That's ten. Two hundred and forty, eh? Well, we'll save the rockets until we get a little closer. Wow, that was terrible. Okay. That's a lot of AMS. Makes you wish you had lasers. But we're all missiles, so you know. That's not going to happen. It's weird, like... This new version, I'm liking the missiles early on. I guess because we're at least doing some damage. Whereas before, I, I, I much preferred going all energy because at least uh, you would never run out of ammunition. But I'm enjoying the all missile builds. It's not so bad. I guess because, I don't know, just I think everything just feels a little bit more balanced now. The lasers and the missiles just feel more balanced. Um, yeah. So the laser's doing less damage, the missile's doing slightly more. Um, you know, it just, it just, it feels now that you can really mix and match your weapons and just really choose what you want to run with, but still be successful no matter what. Like, you could always go energy build before, right? As long as you had the heat sinking, no problem. Yes, Commander. But now you can run anything and be fine. Um... What are we going to do here? Let's do this. Then let's do... This. Did the tag barrage not fire? Did I leave it turned off? Is that what happened? Can we avoid a minefield here? Not if we want to get the Centurion, we can't. Alright, well. Let's give them the good news. Here's some good news for you, buddy. Wow, the heat's barely doing anything to this guy. We gotta get the Hydra on him. Gotta get the Hydra on him. That's it for my turn. He's already gone too, so hopefully we can go before him next turn and get some heat on him again. If we can slow him down and keep him in that fire, We should. he should be fine. He'll just overheat and explode. Why is this VTOL moving backwards? He's perfected the uh, art of backwards flying. Whoops. Got a little too close, did you? That was that laser turret. Taking minimal damage. Got a little too close. Alright, so... I'm really interested to see if we still have our barrage or not. 
Find out in a second. Standing by. Let's not fire over our own guy here. Really low chances to hit on this turret. Roger. Not so bad in that building though. Let's go after this guy. How you like me now? Metal affected? Light damage, Commander. Did you see that? It said metal affected? Yes, Commander. What the hell that means? Okay. Target this guy. Switch this to dead fire. Firing. Okay. I've got your back. Let's keep this guy toasty. Firing some more incendiaries. Aye, aye. Got three turns of firing or more. Three more turns of firing of incendiary. Ooh, juicy. Take that as a lesson. That guy's not moving anywhere, man. See ya. Yeah, that was the. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll not get the Hydra. That was the Hydra ammo. Aye, aye. That was the Hydra. It's a minefield, eh? That's not. Lifting up. Let's get our vigilance up target this guy. Okay, our barrage didn't go off, but we can fire the barrage on this guy. Did we hit? Where'd the barrage go? Oh, right on me. I hope it's actually not on my mech. Shooting myself in the foot like that's a bad idea. At least the turret's still in the radius, though. Beekeeper! See how fast he shreds this turret. Pretty good shooting. Alright, let's just move over here. And we'll fire on the turret. Accuracy through volume of fire. Took a hard hit there. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, well, dead fire is up, so let's use it. Here it comes. Oh, I guess his uh, AMS is out. Commander. Here it comes. Alright. That was quick. Roger that. Oh, are you kidding me? We hit ourselves with the... How can you hit yourself with the barrage? To me. That doesn't make any sense. That. that should do it though. Nope. That was a critical That was a stealth system going down though. Over. 
Overheating, Commander. Commencing shutdown. How does that even... I don't even understand that. I guess it's something I better be aware of. Well, see ya. <laughs> that guy's dead. They're all on fire, running around screaming. I don't even think they're running around screaming. They're a pile of goo on the ground. Man, they went down hard. Nice shot. How can I help? Keep on this guy. That's how you can help. Roger. Good luck stopping that. All right, Hotshot, take this place down, will you? This guy does straight up bad damage, man. Like nasty ass damage. Let's go after this guy. Use the dead fire up. Why not? There it is, folks. We've got one turret left and we're out of here. That's not bad, though. I mean, we did okay. Except for barraging ourselves. Yes, Commander. For House Arano. <sighs> See what I mean? We need a coolant truck that can just come in and spray her with coolant. I have it set that you can only have defensive weapons on it. You got to give it a big ass trailer behind it too, right? Big ass trailer that the thing's got to tow. And then that way, uh, you can't put it on a mech or anything like that. All right, he's almost done. Hopper will finish him off. Well, maybe Hotshot will get a shot at him. Okay, this mech runs a little hot, but not bad. Wow. Let's, let's just overkill it. Beautiful. There it is, folks. It's gone. Okay. Contract payment increased by 50%. That's not bad. Should cover our damages. We overheated. I don't know what we got damaged here. SRM Inferno. I guess I guess it went off. That's probably why we shut down. I think we've I think we still got more Inferno ammo. Pretty sure we do. All right. Let's see what we got here. Chap countermeasures. That's a good possibility. Three parts of a Centurion, eh? We wrecked those things, man. There's like nothing here. They got totally wrecked. Let's grab this, though. There's nothing really else I want here. Thunderbolt 10. We don't have any ammo for it. Or do we? I think we do have a couple of... Uh... Mm, I think I want this more than anything right now. As countermeasures. Okay, we got everything anyway. Doesn't really matter. All right, let's sell some stuff here. Don't need that. Don't need that. The 140 we don't need. Want to hang on to the heat sinks. We can lose this. We can lose this. We can lose that. That. Six rocket 15s. We don't have any of them yet. Okay. Lose these. Don't need the medium lasers. How many do we have right now? Eight. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's take, how much flamer ammo do we have, too? We can, well, let's just take it, just in case. All right, 33,000. Not so bad. Now, I want to see, real quick here, if we do have an extra Centurion part. We'll find out here in a second. We do. So we can use the 9AH. 
We can put together a flea too, I guess, eh? I should probably just do that and scrap it. Um, where's the 9AH? AC10. You know what? Let's just put this one together. Is this... It's a primitive version, though. You know what? Let's just see what it's like. It's cheap to put together, so let's go ahead and do it. Then let's grab that flea and we'll trash it. Um, so light, flea, ready. Okay, let's check these out here. So the base, uh, this flea most likely will just trash it. Just to see what's on it though, real quick. End of steel, which we can get, nice. Um, regular heat sinks, yeah, nothing really. Nothing really. All right, let's just go ahead and get rid of this. Thirty-seven thousand. The Centurion. It's got primitive everything, but we can work around that. We got no problem with that. All right, it's got no core. Um, the heavy rifle stayed intact, but that's not going to stay on here. There's no way. And then there's nothing left on this guy. So let's just quickly. Um, throw some stuff in. Like, we'll probably be putting endo steel and stuff in eventually. But let's just grab a couple things real quick. I've been trying to hang on to at least one of these in case we need them. But that'll replace all of that. The internals. What did he have? A 240 core? Where was his core? 200. I can make them faster. 265. Let's just go with a 210 for now. And then we can put a uh, standard fusion engine in it. That'll help out. 385,000. It's got 32.8 tons left. Or, sorry, uh, almost like 18 tons left. What's the armor? Armor is maxed out on this thing. Pretty much. So, yeah, I'm okay with this. Let's get this thing going. And then, Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and drop in... Uh, because we got one, three ballistic, two missile, and a and a uh, support hard point on this guy. So it's definitely worth doing. I think this is going to work better than the um, than the uh, what's his name? This is the damage one. No, this one is. We can repair that. Then the gladiator. Um, yeah, I think that's how we want to do. That's what we want to do. That's given us like 20 tons of stuff to work with. That's that's screaming AC20 to me. Right? Do we have how much AC20 ammo do we have? That's the good question. All right, before we get too far now, we only got 8 rounds in total. There's only 3 rounds in this. And then there's five rounds here. So it's only eight rounds. The AC-20 is out. But let's get this back like this. Confirm that. Right. I'll get it Wait for that to, to get repaired. And then let's go ahead and get back the Men Xian. Oh, we got to get our pilots back too. So we still got a few days to go here. Okay. Um... Let's do another quick mission here. Let's go ahead. Um, battle. Um, escorter and keeper alive. So. The main VIP is locked. Okay. 
That, that would make sense. Oh, right, we lost the Inferno off this. We're not going to bring you anyway. I'm going to bring Earthquake and this guy. Um, Want to go this route? One skull? Think it's going to be okay? I think the Urban Max probably a little too slow. We have an, we have opportunity to use that later, so let's just go this route. I know the archer is not much faster, but it's got more fire. Well, almost more firepower. Okay, don't die, VIP. Oh, we got some guys over here. Pick me up over there, will ya? Only good canopian is a dead canopian. You got that right. I'm moving. They invaded our homeland. What has she got? Large, two mediums, and an LRM-5, eh? Copy that. On the move. This vehicle's dead meat. Alright. Kunlung Fang. Wow. The hell does this thing have? Improved rocket launchers. Flamer hot shot. Fire. Wow. That's uh, pretty impressive. Yes, Commander. What's this guy? Pegasus. Fire starter. Okay. Ooh, really? Hmm. Really? Dead fire is like lower? Um. All right, well. Get started on that. Commander. Okay, let's get into here. That's not bad. Ten, this is eight doing eight. Well, I don't know if it'll do more or not. Oh, I forgot we had the LK too, right? Start off with the LK. Fire. Man, it's only a pack rat too, and we're hammering it with everything. Wow. It's got like one point left or something. Ooh, thanks for that. Yep. Confirm. Oh man, really? Sure. Targeting system janky. Yeah, ex that's exactly what the problem is. It's exactly what the problem is. Okay, offer. This guy should be in close range now. Sure is. Doesn't look like it's doing that much better heat-wise, but... We'll uh, hammer this guy. Don't get too close, buddy. It's getting a little khaki. Come on, finish him off. He's got like no armor on the back, man. Oh, 
Oh, that was my AMS. Nice. Shot some of them down. Coming in fast and low, they're making a drop off. Right on top of her. Wait. Future evac zone. Okay. So, what do we do now? Receiving you. Uh, let's move into here. Heading out. Want to try to keep these guys in one, one direction from me here. Ooh, that penned. It must be the the inc increased clustering on the uh, on the archer that's uh, hammering one location like this. All right, firing. Got to position ourselves so that we can take on these guys coming in too, if they come in next turn. Yep. Take that, as a lesson. that guy really is the threat at the moment. You have to move. Let's move over here. Uh, yes. Regular ammo. Gonna save the dead fire for the uh, guys that are dropping in. Give them a nice rude surprise. Okay, let's get you down here. Let's see if we can finish this guy off. Nope. Nope. Yeah, well. I don't know if we've got two turns before that dropship arrives or if it's going to arrive this turn. Come on, finish him off. Oh, it's the front. Okay. He's got the back well hidden now. I'm hearing another vehicle moving somewhere. There it is. Plainsman. Here it comes. Okay, two choppers. Clint and a hammer. We've got a few Clint pieces, so... Talk to me. It's back up here. Try and knock this... Ooh, that's nice. Confirmed. Try and knock this guy off. It's probably going down. Right through his armor. Nope. He lost something. Oh, his torso. Weird, I thought it would hit his leg. What are you doing? Really? I love the fact that you can stand where the choppers are. Okay, get the archer between you and the enemy. See if we can finish this guy up. Nope. That was a critical hit. Balls, he says. Oh, he went down. Okay. I was hoping he was going to be dead, but can't have everything, I guess. We'll give the griffin the kill. Make her feel like she's contributing.
Um, let's go for the leg. Most likely we won't get it. Look at the chance to hit too. Come on, bail out, man. Why are you laughing? You only did like, like two points damage or something. Mitigate the height di difference here. Let's get on this Pegasus. Um, yeah. Alright, not bad. Not bad. This SRM-6 build is not working out as, as nice as I thought it was going to work out. Ah, crap. Yeah, the SRM-6 build is not working out like I wanted it to. 24 missiles, but we're having a hard time hitting. I don't know how to make it a cooler build, though. I mean, if we can get some ACs for the arms. I don't know. I don't know how to make it a cooler build. A pair of LBX-5s might work. But then it would just be a long-range platform at that point, right? I don't know. We could go all flamer with it, too. That was one of the things I was considering, is using it, like, dropping all flamers on it. So that's a possibility too. I may try that. But right now the biggest thing we're lacking is firepower. We got the mobility. We're managing to get mobility now. But I don't know. Don't know. What are you up to? Come on, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. There you go. Double heat sink kit explosion. Yes, Commander. Affirmative. All right, let's see what our chance on these choppers is. Um, That's pretty darn good. Wish we could multi-target. Hammer, eh? Mm. Okay, let's rip this guy apart. No such thing as overkill. Guns off the field, baby. Where are you going? I wonder how many Clint parts we've got. He's only 40 tons though, I think, so... What's the point? 38. This guy stood still, huh? Well... Sorry to hear that. Engine destroyed? We just... There's, well, I guess we must have hit the CT first. And then our clustering ability is, uh... Just basically shredded it. It's a light mech. It's only like 30 tons, 25 tons or something. I wasn't expecting a kill, though. Yep. Okay, can you finish this guy, please? Wow. You didn't even move and you couldn't... Yeah, sure you did. So glad you're on our side. Guy's still not bailing out. He's hanging in there. You fire away, buddy. You keep firing. We're down to five. That Pegasus is taking off. Aye, 
No way I can get through here without getting in flames, eh? Probably because I'm standing in them, most likely. Acknowledged. Let's get out of them anyway. Heat's going to go up, but whatever. 16. That would be a kill on that guy. Oof. Why is it more heat on this guy than on this guy? Oh, because we can't hit this guy with the medium pulses, that's why. That would make sense. I copy. Ah, okay. It is what it is. Talk to me. You don't even need to move. All right. Come on, finish him up. There you go. Oh, well, that's interesting. Looked like his quirk was was something called distracting. That's kind of interesting. All right, we gotta move. We gotta move. Let's get up here. We're not going to do well from down there. Bring the medium pulses in. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's just drop it all on them and see what happens. Not a whole lot. Oh, we got a head hit, though. Solid connection on that one. That'll make it tougher for him to shoot. Finally. Okay, move up a bit. Um, dead fire LRMs. What if we switch to SRM? Marginally better, I guess. Uh, let's apply some heat to this guy, though. Need you to make sure you don't shoot me is what I need you to need, that's for sure. Okay, let's shoot this guy. Don't think it's gonna matter who we target actually. Wow. <laughs> Why are you on our side? Nothing. Negative damage. I don't feel so bad now. You know, I felt bad because our chances to hit were always so low. Now I see this VIP and I'm like, eh. Could be worse. We could have, have decent mechs and not be able to hit a goddamn thing. At least it's better that we got kind of crappy mechs. I don't feel so bad that we miss a lot. Come on, what are you doing, guys? Let's keep him heated up. How can I help? Okay, we're not shooting past our guys. Let's keep him nice and toasty. Firing. Or we just kill him, that works too. Uh, what a waste. Yeah, I know, really. Wasting the salvage. Yep. I remember those days of not being able to hit. Do you remember those days of not being able to hit a damn thing? You know, I can't even talk today. I recorded several episodes already. I just, I still just can't talk. I can't talk today. Uh, what are we looking at here? That's better.
Sure. Got to get started on them sometime. Receiving you. Um. Let's get down here. Gonna drop our heat level. We're not gonna be able to hit very well from down here anyway, so. Drop our heat level, wait, and then we'll climb up the other side. Where did that one go? That one went way down here somewhere, probably into someone's house. In the local village. The VIP is taking damage. Well, she f wanted to feel like what it uh, feel what it was like to be in combat. She sure as hell has now. Ordered. Okay, not bad on this guy. Better on this guy. But this guy's got his side to us. We can probably do more this way. Well, I don't know. Go for the better chance to hit. What do you need? Moving to position. Okay. Wow. A little better on this guy. All right, large laser hit, finally. Finally. I've got your back. After how many turns was that? Let's focus on this guy. Is it, I don't know if it's more damage this way than the other, then, I don't know. Let's fire it. So let's use the incendiaries and see what it's like. No, it's still about the same. It's gone though. That's all Get that matters. Down. Flank this guy. All right, almost clean this up. Looks like he took some damage going through the fire. I know, a lot of shooting too, buddy. A lot of shooting. Man. Go this route. Interesting that it says panicked on these guys, but I mean they're not going to bail out or anything, so I don't know. Maybe that's just for the future when there's a chance for them to bail out and we can get vehicle parts. There we go. Okay, no contract in, uh, payment increase, but that's fine. Got a wound on one of our pilots, which kind of sucks, but looks like we all took damage. All right, Clint parts. There's another mech for us. Now, let's see if they got anything good down here. Ooh, primitive armor. That's definitely what we want. Artemis 4. Plus 9 chance to cluster on hit locations with missiles that cl can cluster. Going to drop that in there for now. I might put that into... Uh, that's going to be so much better on the um, archer. I think we've got LRM Artemis ammo. There's some Artemis ammo there too. Let's hope we get it. Alright, let's confirm. Alright, fire stutter and hammer parts. LRM 5, which we probably don't need. Got four of them. Five of these. Get rid of that. We don't need the 105 core. Don't need that. Nope. Nope. We, oh, good. We got the uh, Artemis ammo. 
Don't need the rifle ammo. Don't need the SRM ammo. All right, so we got a few things that we can use here. Okay. Almost no damage at all, which is beautiful. All right, so uh, let's go have a look at that Clint real quick just to see what it's like. Yeah, let's fix this first, though. I think we still got uh, incendiary ammo. SRM Inferno. SRM Inferno. Beautiful. There's the replacement. So we don't forget for next time. Storage. Clint, 404. Beautiful. It's ready, this guy. This is the uh, primitive variant, so it's not like we're probably going to... We'll probably just trash this thing anyway. No point in restoring this sucker, I don't think. Depending on the hard points, I don't think it's really got what we want. One ballistic. Yeah. Got a lot of support points, though. But we don't really have anything to throw in there. All right, let's just go ahead and trash this guy. Variable range targeting. What's this thing give us? Interesting. Computers are hardware. Blah, blah, blah. But game better at either short or long ranges. That's interesting. Active item to swap between long range and short range targeting. Interesting. Okay, let's just trash it. Now, only 85,000, huh? No biggie. Uh, okay, well, I think what we're going to probably end up doing, I mean, we're, we've almost got enough funds now. Slowly start, I mean, I spent a lot of um, C-bills getting uh, the mechs updated um, and on some of the engineering components from the ship. So if we have a look at that real quick, you can see now I, we, we've got a fair bit of components installed. Um, so our sea bills have dropped. I want to get that back up again so we can go ahead and bring that new Leopard dropship in. It's only 100000 a month. I think we're doing just fine. Um, so if we can have another mech that's, that's running, that would be great. So we're going to go ahead and try that. Um, but like I said, once we get enough sea bills, it's going to be... I think it's like 3.3 3 .3 million, I think, in order to have one mech, like the surplus, surplus Leopard, one additional mech that we can control is like 3.3 .3 million. And I think it's like 13 days or something. It's not that long. It's pretty short, actually. So, yeah. All right, so I'm going to get the mechs fixed up between episodes. I might pull off one of the half skull between episodes. I don't know yet. I think we're doing okay. I don't think we have to go ahead and do those. But I might do it. I don't know. We'll see. Um just to pick up some more components and stuff. But uh, yeah, and then when we come back next time, we'll be ready to take on another mission. All right, so hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.